All praises to Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem Makar Kadash. Devil on the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect to the nation of Israel. This is going to be a lesson talking about the um, talking about the new covenant, and why every single Israelite should be desiring to be under the new covenant, man. All right, I'm going to go into I'm going to go into that, and let me read it first. I'm going to read it both in the New and Old Testament, the New Covenant. I'll read it in the New first. In fact, you know what? I'll read it in the Old first so that we can see that it's not been changed. And so that no new nation or no new people have been added into this thing that's been prophesied before anybody that's on the earth right now was ever alive. This is Jeremiah chapter 31 and verse 31. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah. Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, although I was a husband unto them, saith Yahweh, but this shall be the covenant that I make with the house of Israel, not with everyone, with the house of Israel, after those days, saith Yahweh, I will put my law in their inward parts, and write it in their hearts, and I will be their God, and they shall be my people, and they shall teach no more every man his neighbour and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, know Yahweh. For they shall all know me from the least of them unto the greatest of them, saith Yahweh. For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more. So in that day, every single Israelite is going to be perfect, right? In that day, every single Israelite is going to keep all of God's laws. But why is that important? Why is it even important to keep God's laws, right? Why is it important to, to follow the law? Well, I'm going to go into it, but I'm going to read this first. Hebrews chapter 8 and verse 8. For finding fault with them, he saith, Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, when I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah, not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day when I took them by the hand to lead them out of the land of Egypt, because they continued not in my covenant and I regarded them not, saith Yahweh, for this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith Yahweh, I will put my laws into their mind and write them in their hearts, and I will be to them a God, and they shall be to me a people. And they shall not teach every man his neighbour, and every man his brother, saying, Know the Lord, for all shall know me from the least to the greatest. All right? So every single Israelite is going to know the Lord in that day. But again, why is it even important to keep the laws? Right? Why is it even a thing to keep the laws? Like, why is it that Israelites are always talking about this new covenant, man? Why is it that Israelites even talk about keeping the laws in the first place? What's so special about keeping the laws? Like, what is the benefit of keeping them? What is the benefit of keeping the laws instead of just doing whatever you want to do? Well, here's one thing. This is Deuteronomy chapter 4. Deuteronomy chapter 4 and verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as you have my power commanded me, that you should do so in the land where you go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, Surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So the laws give you a a better understanding of things than everybody else right having the laws gives you a better understanding of how things work it almost it almost allows you to predict the future right it allows you to see what things are going to happen oh these people are living this way they're going to get destroyed because every other kingdom that's tried to live this way has also got destroyed man it lets you see it lets you see what happens if you live a certain way man and the laws the laws give us praise in the sight of the other nations because they're going to see that we're wise and understanding, right? And when the laws are in us, we're going to be wise and understanding forever. So we're going to get a, we're going to get the kind of praise that Solomon was receiving for his wisdom, right? Now let me go somewhere else. Let's go somewhere else. This is the book of Romans chapter 6 and verse 23. For the wages of sin is death, but the gift of Yahweh is eternal life through Yahweh Shai HaMashayach, our Lord. All right, so in order to get everlasting life, you have to live a sin-free life. So when the Israelites have, these, have this new covenant, what are they going to receive? Immortality, right? They're going to be immortal in that day. They're never going to die ever again. Every single Israelite is going to be alive for the whole rest of his life. He's not going to perish. He's just going to be around forever. 
Now let's go to something else. Because it's not just like we're saying, like Israelites say, oh, keep the laws, keep the laws. And there's not no benefit of keeping them. There's a benefit for keeping the laws, man. This is Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 1. And it shall come to pass, if thou shalt hearken diligently unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe and do all his commandments which I commanded this day, that Yahweh thy power will set thee on high above all nations of the earth. So that's why we want the new covenant. Because we want to be above everybody else on the earth, man. We want to be the best nation on the earth. We want to get the blessing of being the best nation on the earth. This was the only other option. It was either blessings or curses, which I'm going to read now. Verse 15, But it shall come to pass, do only 28 and 15, But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of Yahweh thy power, to observe and do all his commandments, and his statutes which are commanded this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee, and overtake thee, so we want to be free from the curses. But you've got these Christians... Right, this, you've got this whole doctrine of Christianity and you've got all these heathens that want to try and talk about the Bible and want to try and say, oh, the law don't matter, right? Yes, it does matter, but it don't matter to you you people because you never got a blessing when you kept them. Neither did you get a curse when you didn't keep them, man. You didn't get a reward for keeping the laws. Neither did you get a punishment for not keeping them. You never got anything. You never received anything for keeping them, man. But we're going to when we keep them and we received something negative when we haven't kept him. And that's the reason why all you people around the earth are considered greater than us right now. But you're not greater than us because Yahweh Shai is coming back to give us the new covenant, man. And all you people that want to laugh and think it's a joke and a game, well, you're going to live, if you live long enough, you're going to see it, man. Because it's approaching very quickly. I'm going to end the lesson there. Keeping the laws has value because it allows the Israelites to become the greatest nation upon the face of the earth. And that's why the Israelites are the only people that even care about keeping the laws. That's why the Israelites are the only people that ever are prepared to even say what the new covenant is. That the new covenant is God's laws being placed within your mind so that you keep them all 100% of the time, 100%. And therefore, in doing that, you receive everlasting life because you no longer receive the wages of sin, which is death. In fact, you receive the reward of wisdom, which is immortality. All praises to Yahweh, but Hashem Yahweh Shai, but Hashem Makakwadash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, and Shalom to the elect to the nation of Israel. Shalom.